Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can use sets within SAP FI validation. So here right now we are in the transaction OB28 to maintain SAP FI validation. And if we have a closer look into this SAP FI validation, um, then we can see that based on the step on the on the overview that I have created or set up a prerequisite based on one single uh, your vendor ID, vendor account, and you can make it easier, you can use sets. So therefore you don't have to maintain directly manually one single value within the prerequisite, you can use sets. By the way, I will link the video um, in which I have created this SAP FI validation so that you can directly have a look in detail on your own how to create and set up SAP FI validation on your own. Um, yeah, so basically what we first have to do is we have to go to a transaction to create sets. So therefore we go to the transaction G S01. And within here, basically, first of all, you have to uh, define a set name. So, for example, yeah, just for test purposing, set underscore set one. Then under table, because we would like to set up the set based on the customer number, on the customer accountant. So it's the table BZEC. And then we choose the set type basic set. So then you hit the enter key and then within here you have to define your field name and that's in our case K-U-N-N-R, so the customer accountant number. Then you continue and then basically here within you can, if you want to define one short description, so set for vendor accountants whatever you like to and then within here you can basically define your set so in our case i would like to use my uh, my accountant number if you want to, you can define different um different accountant numbers you can also define a range whatever you like to so in my case i just would like to define a range then i hit the enter key so yeah this i can erase uh, right now here i don't need this anymore uh, so i have to find one entry with a range uh, from this value to this value um, yeah then basically you can leave the other settings as they are then you can save it so and then you have saved it and um, that's all we need to do so then we go once again to our transaction ob28 to maintain the spfi validation and we would like to change this one so we go into the prerequisites because when within here we would like to switch it so we we would like to switch it from the single value to the set and therefore we have to erase uh, also the operand and you have to use the in operand so the customer is in the set directory so you have to click on the in and then on the set directory and on the set id you can also use the for help if you want to um, or you can also type it uh, manually and in our case i just would like to select the created set so i double click then i continue yeah basically and then we go one step back we save our changes and then basically yeah uh, we can go uh, down here and then we're going uh, one step back once again into the validation and then we can go to validation and then simulate to yeah, to basically simulate our validation. So in our case, uh, I just would like to enter the customer account number and the special GL indicator A. Then I execute this and now the message will be output if I go one step back and change it, for example, to two, once again to A. Then once again, the message will be output if I'm out of the range. So for example, four and A, then yeah the condition is false so yeah basically you can also if you want to test this in the um 
f minus 29 uh, if you like to so to post on payments as you saw in the video i linked yeah but basically it's easy as it is um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.